So if you want to, um, it depends if, if the room is chilly, feel free to use a blanket. If you want to dim your lights, you can dim your lights as well. And just make yourself comfortable. You can sit, you can lie down and just focus on on the breathing. We're always attempting to breathe in from your nose. And you can breathe out of your nose or mouth, whatever feels comfortable and natural to you. Soften the muscles around your eyes. Soften the forehead. Soften your mouth. Relaxing your throat. Soften your belly. Good. So the meditation I've chosen for today is breathing for moving the amount of stress. We all get into stressful situations from time to time. So it's not about eliminating stress from our lives because that's what's not possible. Um, what matters is how we manage it and how we react to the stress. Stress is a normal part of living. As I speak, just focus on breathing. Not too deeply, just a comfortable breath, a natural breath. When you encounter something that stresses you out, you need to manage stress so that it doesn't build into more, which will end up disrupting your daily routine. Also learning how to keep your emotions in check. For example, if uh, something happens and it makes you angry and then it upsets the rest of your morning, for example. So things that are medium stressors are, for example, having a deadline coming up, maybe a bit sooner than you anticipated. And now you have a lot more work to do in a, a short time. Or maybe you're going out for a meal with some friends and you really don't want to see some of the people that might be there. So that causes that internal anxiety. And when there is this deadline you've procrastinated, you know that it's sort of you to blame, but these things happen and it's important that you don't judge yourself too harshly because you telling yourself off is not going to make you feel better and it's also not going to help you achieve your deadline. It's almost a pointless exercise, telling yourself off. And uh, it will also distract you from being able to focus. So mm -hmm. just promise yourself you'll be a little more um, focused next time and move on. What's done is done. When you're stressed, you can't focus. So on the other hand, when you focus, you can't be stressed either. It goes both ways. And being focused is as simple as 
taking those few breaths and focusing on your breathing. And that's automatically going to reduce your stress. So let's focus back in on your breath again right now. And what is it like right now? Feel your belly expand and contact with your breath. Feel your chest gently rising and falling. You can feel the air passing through your nose softly. And just feel the different areas the air you're breathing in is going into. Notice whether the air you breathe in and out is different in temperature. And we're going to take three big deep breaths and you're going to pay attention to how each breath feels when breathing in as much as you can until you're brimming with air. Breathe in a little bit more, hold it for a moment. And as you exhale, allow yourself to relax even more. To pulling air fully into your body as much as you can with a little extra sip of breath in, oxygenating yourself, hold it, and then exhale again, allowing you to become even more relaxed. And three, breathing fully in again, sip in a bit more, hold it, and then exhale. Each time you're feeling much more relaxed than when you started. Great. Maybe you've noticed that your state of mind is a little bit different to when you first started your meditation. If you feel you need to relax even more, you can use this technique at any time of the day. But I would recommend you practicing it when you don't need to be relaxed as well. Because then it's easier to draw onto when you need it. If you don't practice it, it won't be the first thing that comes to your mind when you're stressed out. So you want to make this part of your day. I usually like to practice it just before I eat because it helps to Calm the nervous system, stimulate your nervous system, stimulate your digestive system. And then when you are stressed, then you're, you'll be more likely to remember that breathing can help to calm things down. Another wonderful tool that you can use when you're feeling some moderate stress is paying attention to nature. So surrounding your work environment with a few plants. And if you're like me, I kill most of my plants. So I've treated myself to a terrarium. Viewing nature is very relaxing and very calming to us as humans. We forget that that's where we come from. Or if you're lucky like me to live right by a park, you could try and walk through nature on a daily basis. Doesn't matter what the weather is. Just throw on a jacket, umbrella if it's raining, and get out of the house. Walking in the morning and in the afternoon is really, really good for resetting your circadian rhythm as well, if you struggle to sleep at night. So 
when you find stress is beginning to build. If you have the time to walk, go for a walk. If you don't, focus on your breathing. Or, as I said, try and surround yourself with a few plants. The other thing which helps us cope with stress is remembering to use our gratitude, be grateful for the little things that we have. And if you can't get to a place outdoors, you can simply imagine it. Imagine a place that you've been to in the past where you felt calm, happy. So let's try and do that now. Imagine right now we're in a beautiful garden. Feel free to keep your eyes open or closed, whatever suits you best. There is a soft and natural path through the garden that you begin to walk down. In this garden, there are so many beautiful plants. It's the most beautiful flowers you've ever seen. The trees around you are thriving and tall. There is a light breeze swaying the trees back and forth, back and forth. You look down at the smaller shrubs and plants that are passing by as you walk along. And you can see their leaves moving with the wind. Some leaves are soft, some leaves have like little white hairs on them, some are waxy, shiny maybe, reflecting the sunlight. Take a deep breath in, Imagine the fresh air that these plants have produced for us. And you catch the smell of a lovely flower, the fragrance of a beautiful white flower. I always think white flowers smell much sweeter than the colored ones. Walking closer to the flower, bending down, and take a deeper smell. Inhaling its smell. And breathing in its aroma eliminates any stress you've had in your mind and body throughout the day. You're feeling completely relaxed, completely at ease. And let's feel grateful now for the feeling you have at the moment, sense of calm. Which you can re recreate at any point in the day. So we're going to walk back down the path through nature. You can feel the gentle sun rays on your skin. You 
breathe in the warm air. Walking back along the path. You can always come back to this place. Sitting. And just closing your eyes. Focusing on your breath. And remembering the place. We're going to count from one to five. Taking a breath with each number. And with each number I say you will become more and more aware of the present moment. Breathing in for one. Slowly exhaling and becoming more aware of your whole body. Breathing in for two. Securing that memory of nature somewhere where you can easily find it when you need it. Breathing in for three. Feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. And breathing in for four. Feeling stress free and ready to achieve anything. And breathing in for five. And welcoming you back into the room. And whenever you're ready, you can come out of your meditation.